I'm still treating that boy with a dissociative identity disorder. Yeah. Has he picked one yet? Uh, what's that dissoci- identity thing? In layman's terms, it means that the kid has multiple personalities. You're using that tone again. <sighs> anyway, there's Ben. The average, kind, healthy teenage boy. And then there's Tyrone, the uh, gangster, street rapper, and part-time coke dealer. Yo, what was up with all this shizzy? And then there's Mercutio, the uh, very erotic and painfully uncomfortable adult film star. Classic case. Do you know what triggered it? Mm, a car crash, plane crash, stock market crash, some kind of crash. How old is he? Thirteen. And I've had him for a while. And I feel like we've barely even been skimming the surface. I've tried hypnosis, prescribed drugs, but I just don't know what to do. Did you try Googling it? That's what I always do when I need advice. It doesn't quite work like that, dear. We can't just go and Google the answers to all of life's tricky little questions. Stop it. Actually, you can. Wikipedia is like the wise old aunt I never had. Well, I know what to do. Gotta get him to confront the trauma, talk about it, and work through it. It's just that I'm not particularly looking forward to all of that. I'm used to dealing with simpler problems like shyness or clinical depression. This was going to take some more time. But on the plus side, this means that I can finally buy that new Jaguar. That's the way to look at things. What about you? Any cool patients this week? A man who robs banks in the nude. Wouldn't that make it easier to identify him? No, just the opposite. Where does he keep the loot? That's kind of interesting, actually. Yeah, if you like long and boring stories. Can we do this some other time? No, do it now.